right now a third of people in the world don't have access to an improved toilet which would be treating the waste and there's a billion people who don't have anything at all which means they're just going by the riverbank uh, by the ocean or using a bucket in their house and dumping it outside so that gets into the water sources it also contaminates the land and the soil for kids playing on it waterborne illness is something that's both preventable and treatable if you have the money to go to the hospital it's something that you can easily take care of looking at ecological toilets the arbulu is by far the simplest one and that means it's the lowest cost so that will make it accessible to a lot more people first of all it doesn't use water so it's a way to prevent water contamination and then you can reuse the nutrients to grow trees haiti has a problem with deforestation so if you use the nutrients and human waste to help your trees grow better and to get more income from your trees, then you have both economic and environmental advantages to it too. And it uses a lot less materials than a standard latrine would. So things that we can do locally in the United States is just reducing how much water we're using to flush away our waste. So using lower flush toilets, making sure that when you're picking up your animal waste and putting them in a, a safe receptacle rather than letting them wash out the Great Lakes. 